Hello everyone. Today we start the discussion of software development life cycle models. We start with the waterfall model. The waterfall model is the earliest SDLC approach that was used for software development. It's also referred to as a linear sequential life cycle model. It's very simple to understand and use. In a waterfall model, each phase must be completed before the next phase can begin, and there is no overlapping in the phases. So the outcome of one phase acts as the input for the next phase sequentially. The sequential phases in waterfall model are requirement gathering and analysis, system design, implementation, integration and testing, deployment of system, and maintenance. And you are familiar with the activities performed in each of these phases. Next, applications of waterfall model. Some situations where the use of waterfall model is most appropriate are the project is short, requirements are very well documented, clear and fixed, product definition is stable, technology is understood and is not dynamic, there is no ambiguous requirements, ample resources with required expertise are available to support the product. Waterfall model has the following advantages. It works well for smaller projects, simple and easy to understand and use, clearly defined stages, easy to manage, phases are processed and completed one at a time, well understood milestones, easy to arrange tasks, and the process and results are well documented. However, the waterfall model has the following disadvantages. It's considered a poor model for long and ongoing projects. No working software is produced and related during the life cycle. High amounts of risk and uncertainty. Not a good model for complex and object-oriented projects. Not suitable for the projects where requirements are at a moderate to high risk of changing. It's difficult to measure progress within stages. It cannot accommodate changing requirements. Adjusting scope during the life cycle can end the project. Integration is done as a big bang at the very end, which does not allow identifying any technological or business bottleneck or changes early. For today, that's all. Thank you.